back to Fast Freaks and Breakfast. That's right, Leah. Welcome back, everyone. And I'm hoping that you're all having a great 2022. Today, we're going to break open into a box of uh, Topps 2021 All-Star Rookie Cup uh, cards. Uh, there's 10 cards with one auto. was able to pick up this box from Topps' website. I think it was like around 50 bucks. So that's pretty cool. But before we do that, we're going to actually highlight some of the cards we have in our collection of the great Mini Minoso, who was your grandfather's uh, favorite player. He uh, uh, always talked really fondly of him and always talked about how he saw him play a, a couple times in Cuba. Uh, so uh, Minoso was inducted just recently by the Golden Age Committee into the Hall of Fame. He was a 13-time All-Star. Ah, that's pretty good, huh? He led the league in being hit by pitches 10 times. That means he got hit by a pitch more than anybody else 10 seasons. <laughs> and you kind of led your team in being hit by pitch, huh? I know. Yeah, you got hit like three sure. times in a row. <laughs> That's not good. So uh, Mini uh, was known as the as the Cuban Common and Mr. White Sox. He was beloved in, in Chicago. And he played for the New York Cubans, the Cleveland Indians, the Chicago White Sox, and the Washington Senators. So let's start off here with his uh, Bowman cards. This is his, uh, uh, I think it's considered his rookie card, his official rookie card. 1952 Bowman. What a beautiful card. It kind of doesn't look like a real photo of him, but it's his I, I don't think it is. I don't think, I think it's a, it's a painting. But that's, isn't that beautiful there? card? Yeah. Like, it's not actually, is there like a photo of him actually? No, I think that's all the, yeah, we have, all have some in uh, our other cards that we're going to show, uh, show in a minute here. Here's the 53 Bowman color. Isn't that a beautiful card? Uh-huh. See, it's, it's colored. Oh, uh, that's a nice card there. Here's the 1954 Bowman with a big glove. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, that glove looks gigantic. That's a beautiful card, too. And uh, the 1955 TV. I had this one in my childhood collection. It was in really bad shape, and I, <laughs> I, I think I ended up uh, giving it away to somebody. But, uh, yeah, this is a beautiful card here. The, those are the Bowman. And also, this is uh, the 1954 uh, Red Heart. This was the one that I told you that comes in dog food, right? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a beautiful card. I love that beautiful blue pastel. Do you think if you get red heart food still, do you think there's still cards in it? I don't think they make that dog food anymore. Too. <laughs> <laughs> this one right here is really interesting. This one came from Red Man uh, Tobacco, Chewing Tobacco. This is his 1952 Red Man. Uh, they also, he also has a 53 and a 54, I believe. Uh, but basically, it's the same card. Uh, it's missing the tab. It came with a little tab in the bottom here. So finding the ones with the tabs are are a little bit harder to find and in What's good condition. Like a tab? It has like a little tab where you get like a coupon if you, you know, it's like if you send it in, you get, you know, like a, some other, you know, you can get other like, uh, like prizes and stuff. Like that. Yeah, it, it, it would uh, come off and then you send it in with a quarter or something like that and they'll send you like a hat or a baseball or something like that. Uh -huh. I don't know, I'm not quite sure <laughs> what the actual, uh, what the tab was for, but um, they do have them out there with the tabs. And here now is his Topps run. This is his 1952 Topps card here. Not in the greatest condition, but I love having it in our collection. Here's the 53 Minoso. That's a beautiful card. Here's the 50, 56. He didn't have a 55. That's a nice one. Action shot here of him sliding into uh, second base. That's a cool, cool card. Here you have the 57, my favorite, one of my favorite uh, sets, right? You know that. You know yeah, that that's my favorite I know, set. I, know, I, know. I said that a million times already. Yeah. The 57 is just so, I am just, just very basic cards, but they're just beautiful. I don't know why. I love that design. Awesome. Here's his uh, 58. That's a nice one. See, that's a nice colored picture there, huh? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Here's his 59, one of my favorites of his. That's a really cool card, off center, for sure. This is a really cool card from also 1959, Destruction uh, Destruction Crew, with me with Minoso, uh, uh, Rocky Calavito, and Larry Dolby. Isn't that a beautiful card? When he played with the Indians there. Have you already showed your favorite card of Mini Minoso? Yeah, I, I think I did. It was a red heart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, here's the 1960 Minoso there. Now back with the 
with the White Sox uh, for that season. 61. Beautiful card. Nice. Here's a 62. Wood Borders. That's a beautiful card. Now he's back with the Cardinals. See how they kind of airbrushed his uh, his uh, hat? Like so, it, was probably, uh, it was probably like uh, the, the White Sox and now he's in the Cardinals. So they would just airbrush it instead of uh, finding another, taking another picture of him. With the Cardinals, they just used the, the old one from the White Sox. And then and they just like... Sprayed it off. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty weird, huh? Here's the 62 uh, Post cereal. I, you know, I had the 61 Post somewhere around here, but I couldn't find it for this video. And here's a 63 card. Beautiful card there. One of my favorites as well. And the 64. That's a really nice color. I love the... The blue writing on there and the blue borders down here in the bottom. Beautiful card. Mini Minoso. Orestes Minoso. And here is his last uh, Topps uh, regular issue card from 1977. A record breaker when he came back to hit uh, for his uh, fourth decade. And then I guess he came back in 80 as well and hit again. Uh, played in five decades. But it was kind of a, like a publicity stunt, right? He kind of stopped playing in the mid-60s. Awesome. So that's that run. And then just some other cards that we have of him uh, in uh, different uh, brands here. Here's this uh, 1988 Pacific. That's a cool card there. Pacific. We have the Action Pack from 1992. I had, uh, just stopped collecting around that time, 1992. Here's the Upper Deck uh, uh, 1994 Upper Deck issue of Mini Minoso and uh, then I have this one as well but this one has some writing on there it says Major League Baseball Anniversary 125th anniversary there pretty cool huh here then we have the the SP from uh, nine, uh, 2001 SP isn't that awesome then you got the 2001 Topps Archives of Minoso of his 52 rookie card then and now this one's really cool this is a uh, heritage uh, from uh, 2009. Then and now, you got Minoso there, and you got Chipper Jones. Shout out to Adam there, who loves Chipper. Very cool. And then you have here his uh, 2012 Panini. That's uh, legendary cuts here. Is it legendary cuts? It's golden age, golden age cards. I'm sorry. And then we have a mini of mini. <laughs> a mini mini uh this is the same card uh in a mini form here is 2012 panini no. uh no panini oh panini. which is don russ uh, oh, those okay. dudes and then here you have this is a really cool one right here this is panini um uh, this is a, a 2013 and uh what is it uh uh america's pastime card this is cool it's number to 25 it shows him in his new york cubans jersey there that's pretty cool who was uh which was a Negro Leagues team. Mm. Uh yep. Brain Barnstorming Brilliance. And then this is a really cool one too. 2020 uh decades best. Um it has shows many, uh, many in there. And also uh Luis Aparicio with his teammate, which is a really cool card. Awesome. And then we have here uh 2002 legendary cuts here with a little piece of his jersey there. This is SP, Legendary Cuts. Then this card, I don't know when, what year it's from, but it's a, a playing card that shows a, kind of a caricature of a mini there. That's number cool. nine, that was his uni number. That's cool. I like that card, huh? Yeah, it's That's cool. cool. Almost he looks like a, a Pokemon card. Too. What's that? He has a big head, too. Yeah. And yeah. instead of Pokemon, the Pokemon ball, it's like a baseball. That's right. Yeah. I've been told I got a big head, too. <laughs> <laughs> and here's... Um, Really cool, Ted Williams. This is from 1992, Ted Williams, or 93, I'm sorry. Uh, that's autographed by many there. Many, I think, believe passed away in 2008. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen him in real life before? No, Mama. Uh, I, from, I didn't like, get far away. No, nah, even, uh, even uh, I, the closest I've seen him is on TV <laughs> <laughs> and on videos. Here's this, a really cool, this is a 2001 Archives autograph of many there. That's a cool card. Nice, and then this two thousand and uh, uh, two thousand. That was this one was two thousand and one. I'm sorry, this is two thousand and two auto. This is from his fifty three uh design there. 
That's a cool card right there, mini auto there. And then this last one here is 2012 Topps uh, Tribute Autograph of Mini. I believe these were uncirculated, meaning that they never released them. This one's numbered out of 50. So this one's 50 out of 50. Pretty cool, huh? Awesome. So that's our little showcase of Mini Minoso. Mini Minoso that's truly so. an awesome guy. Yeah, he was. He was an awesome player. He was an awesome guy. And we really missed him. And a lot of people miss him. Um, they call him Mr. White Sox for nothing. They didn't call him that, right? Because they knew that. He <laughs> or was, did he, he just have Mr. White Sox? Like really white Sox. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. But he was well loved in all over uh, baseball and uh, particularly in Chicago. And all right. Especially around the baseball car community. That car community loves him. Absolutely. I know in this household we do. All right. So now we're going to rip into this, Leah. Are you ready? Yep. Ten cards. One auto. Oh, so oh, so you know it's who's a, who's an auto uh, in there that we can get? Who? Tony Oliva. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, but Dad. Yeah. Is there um? Is it is ten? Is the autograph counted as ten cards? Uh yeah yeah it's so it's, it's, it's basically nine regular cards. Nine regular cards in an auto. I mean. Do you have a problem with that? No. No, no I, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I was just curious. Okay, you, you wanna, well, we'll show them together. Here we go. So the first card is Evan White. Can I um, show them the autograph card? Yeah, I, I, I will tell you when it's coming. Next card here is, oh, cool. And they're really nice and foily. Here's the back of the card. If, you, if you're curious, if you haven't seen it yet. Can you see how it feels? Yeah, it's really oh, nice wow. and shiny. Bucky Dent, who hit that big home run over the, the Green Monster in the playoffs. I think it was 1977 seven or 6. <laughs> that's cool. Ooh, that's a cool one. Mike Trout, rookie cup card there. Mike Trout. Mike Trout. All right. Mike Next one is a Blue Jay. Is it? Oh, yeah. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Like so how many have we got, got so far? One, two, three. This is card four. I think it's the eighth card is the auto. So, four. all right. Here's the fifth card. Joe Adele. Five. Rookie card. Here comes the next one. It's Jose Six. Barrero. Barrero. Jose Barrero for the, for the Reds there. Six. Okay. Here's seven. seven. All right. Jim Rice. That's awesome. Love it. Okay. You ready to show the next one? Uh -huh. Here we go. Okay. This is the auto. You got it? Oh, it's a... Uh, Orange parallel. Oh, oh, Jose Garcia. Yeah. That's nice. Jose Garcia autograph there. On card auto. That's pretty and cool. And I think also if they put like this on it, like for like before that car. Yeah. Like, no. As a way to increase the suspense. Yeah, there it's numbered out of 25. Pretty cool. Nice. Cool card. Good card. Cool card. I'm we got Clark Schmidt here. This one is also numbered out of 99. Nice. Uh, a Clark Schmidt rookie card. And the last card is Devi Garcia. Devi Garcia. Oh, okay. They both have Garcias. That's the uh, yeah. Are they related? I don't think, uh, so. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Because that's uh, your mom's maiden name, too. So. <laughs> Maybe they kind of look similar. That's awesome. Well, that was a pretty cool, uh, fun rip, huh, Leah? Yeah. Yeah, we got a Jose Garcia auto on card autograph. Awesome. And then we got another Garcia. Just Excellent. I hope you guys enjoyed the little rip here. Hope everyone's doing well. And we will see you at the next video. Take care, Bye. everybody. Bye-bye.